Hello, everyone. Welcome to this week's Weekly Market View for Monday, the 20th of May, 2024, to Friday, the 24th of May, 2024. My name is Vishal. Let's get started. All right. So let's start with the higher time frames. As you can see, I have uh, the quarterly chart of the Nifty. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and plot the demand level. And yes, uh, these levels are far away from current market price, but they, they are going to be key levels since we have a big news announcement coming in the month of June. So we need to be aware of these key levels. So this is going to be quarterly level. And then just within your quarterly level, you also have a half yearly level of demand embedded, which is will uh, in the near future. If we now go on to the monthly chart, and uh, if you look at the monthly chart of the Nifty, the Nifty after moving strongly to the upside has just been consolidating, right? So here it is uh, very, very evident uh, that it is consolidating. And uh, if you look at these long wicks here, uh, it is also clear that the moment the price comes, you know, at these levels, uh, the market is taking a very, very strong support. So 21,800 seems to be acting like a strong support because the market came down once, twice, thrice, four times. And somehow this level is holding. So 21,800 is a key support level on the Nifty. And now when we uh, go back to our weekly charts, this is that, that horizontal line that I have plotted. Now just below the horizontal line, we see uh, a gap level over here. And this is the level of interest, if you can say so, because this is that level that uh, is, um, let's say any technical analysis trader will be you know, plotting a, a trend line over here. And uh, any break of the trend line will also uh, induce more shots in the market. So this can more or less act as a trap where uh, we expect the price to come into this level and then continue its momentum to the upside. Now, if you look at the daily chart, um, these are our key levels of open interest. And as you can see, the market did uh, come down uh, closer to these 21,900 level. However, the market failed to create a new low. Okay, so market right now is creating higher lows. And now what is trying to do is as the big news is inching closer and closer, uh, the market is trying to make a new high as well. So now the major barriers for this market uh, on the Nifty, the first barrier is going to be 22,800 to the upside. And then you have the next uh, big number, which is 23,000. If you look at the downside right now, 22,500 is uh, showing a, a stronger put buildup, which means 22,500 is acting as a strong support, uh, which means that sooner or later, if the markets have to move up or if they decide to move up, then what we might see is that we might see a retracement of uh, the market coming back down, uh, taking a little bit of support at this level and then moving towards the higher levels, right? So let us see whether that happens in the coming week. But uh, right now the market is looking a little bit more bullish than bearish. So let us see whether these levels um, are hit in the coming week itself. Let's move on to the next index now. We are going to be looking at uh, the bank Nifty. So let's look at Nifty Bank here. Change this to NSC. So bank Nifty. So let's analyze the bank Nifty now. Let's wait for the charts to load first. And let's start uh, with the half yearly chart. So on the half yearly chart, we are seeing this uh, level of demand, which is this rally based rally. And then we have another level of demand, which is also holding right now, which is this rally based rally. You can see that market has, if you look at the quarterly chart, the quarterly chart is more or less holding onto this level of demand, which is this rally based rally. And now uh, it will be interesting to see whether it creates a rally base and a rally in price, which means we could see a new green candle like this over here, or it can also create a rally base and a drop in price, which means it could create a red candle here. Now let us see whether, uh, uh, what is the picture that the Nifty is painting and uh, let us go now to a monthly chart and let us see what is happening on the monthly chart. So on the monthly chart, um, we saw this drop base rally uh, demand, and then we also saw this level holding nicely. And now the market is showing a lot of strength to the upside. 
So there could be some barriers here on the bank nifty. And if we go on to, let's say the weekly chart, obviously this all time high is going to be the first barrier for the bank nifty. It's not going to be easy to break this all time high. And then on the daily chart, we also have some key levels over here. Um, so here you can again see if we just uh, connect this, this trend line over here, markets are doing very, very, um, I mean, market is more or less creating these higher lows and not allowing the market to break these lows. So in case if this trend line holds and if the market continues to move to the upside, then we might see a strong push to the upside. First barrier is going to be 48,500. The second barrier is going to be 49,000. And then you have the whole number with the 50,000 handle. So it'll be interesting to see how the, the market, uh, you know, reacts to this level over here on the um on the charts and then later on we will see uh, when these when the prices come down to these levels over here so on the half yearly chart we are seeing a, a strong move let me just plot this level once again over here so this is your rally based rally and this is your first test of this level then the market went on to create another rally based rally and now we have another test of this level, which means that uh, on the higher time frames, markets are trying to push to the upside. And it is pretty evident over here also on the uh, quarterly chart. If you look at this level very carefully, rally base, rally level of demand, market came here. Now, as I said, it's going to be interesting to see, uh, very similar to the Bank Nifty, whether uh, this more or less ends in a rally based rally or this becomes more or less a rally based drop right so any potential strong move uh, from here on is quite possible and quite evident in the market right now okay let's move on to the smaller time frame charts now let us see what the monthly chart is telling us so on the monthly chart of the nifty financial services we are seeing this level being respected here very similar to the bank nifty and this is indicating that market wants to continue to the upside let's move on to the weekly chart and let us see if there are any barriers right now so if you look at uh, the barriers right now all time high could also held very nicely and markets are pushing strongly to the upside creating higher highs and higher lows there could be a little bit of a retracement back to the downside before the market wants to push further up so let's move on to the daily chart and let us see what are some of the key levels of uh, open interest that we see on this chart. So again, uh, very similar. We see this, uh, if we just connect this, this trend line here, again, price is creating uh, higher lows, trying to push up to create higher highs. There is a little bit of a resistance over here um, in the form of a supply zone. So it will be interesting to see whether they eventually 21,578 um, breaks to the upside. In case if 21,578 breaks to the upside and price tends to sustain um, this uh, 21,578 level, then more or less prices are more likely to move to the round number of 22,000. So it'll be interesting to see first how the supply zone plays out. In case if the supply zone breaks, then we might see a little bit of a move to the upside then a retracement and then a possible move towards the 22000 level but again um, based on what i'm seeing on the basis of the price action uh, everything is looking bullish as of now we might see retracements but uh, um, today as you can see uh, you know the nifty has also moved up strongly 88 points and bank nifty also has significantly moved up pretty strong all right let's move on to the next index now which is um, the nifty mid cap so let's load the mid select index all right so let's start first uh, with the half yearly chart and on the half yearly chart uh, we are seeing this rally base or rather this drop base rally since this is a new index right now if we move on to the quarterly chart 
the level is a little bit more uh, evident but let's move on to the monthly chart since we are going to get a more clearer picture on the mid cap nifty and as you can clearly see mid cap nifty is printing new highs we could uh, see here price has now reacted to this rally based rally level of demand if we move on to the weekly chart this is that uh, retest of the level that we saw and now prices are moving up creating a candle um, maybe on the daily chart it will be more evident let's look at the daily chart here first yeah so prices did come uh, give a nice retracement towards uh, these areas here now pushing back to the upside indicating that um, these levels are going to be in play and now you can clearly see 11,300 is going to be acting as a strong support on the mid cap uh, index and we could see a potential move towards 11,700 to 11,800 so amongst all the indices uh, mid cap seems to be the most bullish right now again prices may not just uh, fly straight away to the upside uh, but there is a possibility that you know the market could retrace and you know try and make a healthy move to the side so based on whatever we have looked at right now everything seems to be looking extremely bullish on all the indices now let's uh, switch gears and move on and check um, more or less what we call as the inverse markets or the usd inr and let's look at the usd inr here and let's check what the USD INR charts are telling us. So let's start off with the half yearly chart on the USD INR. And you, you can see the, 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 the monthly chart is just creating a, a press. We go to the quarterly chart. This is your rally, base rally. And this is that retest. Now let's move on to the... Uh, monthly chart and if you look at the monthly chart prices came back into this area pull back into this half yearly demand zone now within this area yeah we also see another area of demand which is this uh, area which is located over here and uh, this is pretty much the level in play now if you look at the weekly chart, price moved very strongly to the upside, reacting from this monthly level of demand. And um, so price did pull back, gave a strong move to the upside. This is that weekly level of demand. Removed all these highs, which means that now if the index starts to push towards this area, then all the indices, that is Nifty, Bank Nifty, Fin Nifty, Midcap Nifty, Sensex, Bank X, are more or less likely to move to the upside. So it'll be interesting to see now uh, what happens uh, once the price hits this level of demand. And at that point in time, we will have to see where the indices are. Because in case if the USD INR takes support at this level and starts to push to the upside, that's the time where there will be some profit booking seen on uh, uh, all the indices. So let's be a little patient and wait and watch whether that happens uh, uh, sooner or uh, it happens once uh, the news is out. All right. So this is pretty much uh, the analysis for the week. I hope you enjoyed uh, the analysis. And if you do like our channel, uh, hit the subscription button and become a part of the Shere Khan Educaments. Uh, please uh, uh, do mention those comments in the comment section and we'll definitely look at them. Take care, everyone. Have a lovely trading week. See you all next week. Bye-bye. This should not be treated as a recommendation. Please conduct your own analysis or consult a financial advisor before investing.